Hello, my name is Nicola. I run the West Yorkshire Sling Library and we're going to look at using a Kaboo carrier by Close Parent to carry a newborn baby. So, once your Kaboo is threaded, see my other video for how to thread your Kaboo, um, the best way to put it on is to think of it like a jumper. So I'm going to put my arms in the sleeves and my head in the collar. First thing I'm going to double check is uh, the word on the back, the bit where it's all sewn together. Um, is facing me and the rings are closest to my body on both sides and go in from the bottom. So I'm going to put my arms in the sleeves and my head into the collar of the Kaboo carrier, making sure that we have a set of rings on each hip, a big cross on the back that's sewn together in the middle and a big cross on the front that's free to move around. With this Kaboo specifically, you can see where the twists are because of the different colour in the cloth, so use that to guide you and spread it on your shoulders. Before picking up a baby to put the baby inside the carrier, we can make sure it's going to fit by bringing our hands underneath the shoulder pieces, bringing our palms together and pushing down towards the ground. Now this shows you two things. One, that your kaboo is adjusted to the approximately the same length on each side, because if one side is very long, you end up with hands that won't meet. Um, to make sure that baby's going to be at the right level because if I push down towards the ground that's where my baby's bum's going to sit and I'm quite happy with that. If I could push further down uh, it would mean that my baby would be too low down and if I couldn't get my hands in and they were very high up it would mean my baby would be too high up once they'd gone inside the carrier. So I'm going to pick up a little one and put them nice and high onto my shoulder. So you don't need to stand up to put your baby in the Kaboo carrier. You can do it whilst you're sat down if that helps you to feel secure, especially at the beginning. I'm going to put baby nice and high up onto the shoulder, supporting the head, by allowing them to lay down in that position that looks a little bit like that burp position. I'm going to slide my hand under the cloth on the opposite side. So on the piece on the shoulder, underneath, guiding the baby's foot just through the cloth just there. Place the baby onto the other shoulder, we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. Push my hand through until my hand comes out, bring it down towards the ground, take hold of the foot and guide it gently through the cloth. We can lower the baby down onto your torso and it's at this point where they start to put the tension into the cloth. When the carrier sits at the back of each knee here, our baby is allowed to make that tucked up newborn shape with good support from the back of the knee to the back of the knee. We can offer support for the rest of the body with our hands as we spread the rest of the cloth out. So I'm going to find the edge and it's helpful if you struggle to find the edge to get the piece that's closest to your neck just here. You'll see that when you lower the baby inside the carrier, there's always a piece that's closest to the baby and a piece that's furthest away. So this piece is closest, this piece is furthest away. If you accidentally spread the wrong side first, you will know about it very, very quickly. So as I spread the cloth out over my baby's bottom, I spread it over the shoulder, so from the back of the shoulder to the back of the shoulder, and the back of the knee to the back of the knee. When we go for the second side, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Now, if you find that you get stuck here and you can't pull the cloth across the body, it's because you've done the wrong side first. So you've done the bit that's furthest away from the baby rather than the piece that's closest. So go back one step and then start again from there. And open the cloth so that it spreads out from the back of the shoulder to the back of the shoulder to the back of the knee to the back of the knee, nice and snug. This should start to feel secure inside the carrier as it starts to do its job. Now you need to use the third piece of your caboose, so it's the third layer. We've got one and two and then three. This third layer keeps the cross in place, allows us to offer extra head support for our infant and make sure that the weight is distributed well by passing it around your body. So what I'm going to do is in place it at a level that offers support for my baby all the way up to the back of the ear and gather it under my arms, which allows me to use that elasticated base. If you can see that elastic moving across baby's bottom, gather it together and tie it in a knot, a nice snug knot in the center of the back. 
and should be a double knot, nice and secure. It's not the only thing holding baby in there, there's several layers doing that, but it helps to get it nice and snug because it pushes and passes the weight around your torso and allows baby to be snug and secure in there. So we should always be able to look down and easily see baby's face and that the mouth and nose is free of fabric all of the time. Your carrier should feel well spread out on your shoulders. You can move it around and fold it back up and you can fold the cloth away from baby's face as well if it's something that's bothering you or you want to add extra head support on one side by bringing this in and across the back of baby's head making sure that the mouth and nose is always free of fabric and easily visible and you can give your baby a nice easy kiss on top of their head.